Hello and welcome to the launch pad and the live launch coverage of Starlink 7-12 from Slick 4 East in Vanderburg, California. I'm your host Gavin and here at TLP we wish to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. SpaceX confirmed they had begun fueling around 35 minutes ago. H1 and appears complete. The countdown has proceeded pretty smoothly towards our T0 of 9.57 p.m. Pacific time. The booster on your screen is Booster 1075, flying for its night time, where it will attempt a landing on their drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, positioned downrange in the Pacific Ocean. This booster previously supported SCA-0A, Sarah 2 and six Starlink missions. As you might have noticed, Zach or I did not host a live stream for the Starlink launch that occurred in Florida a few hours ago. We were both on site to meet some of you guys during our Space Coast meetup. Tonight's payload is 22 Starlink V2 mini satellites set to be launched into low Earth orbit by SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. Starlink is a satellite constellation that provides internet to almost anywhere in the world, especially in places with little to no coverage at all. A few minutes ago, we heard the call out commencing the Stromback to begin retracting from the vehicle. This is that truss looking structure that is currently behind the rocket. Strongback is what holds up the rocket and provides fuel and power to the vehicle up until launch. If you're just joining us, you're looking at a live view of Falcon H2, 9 on Slick Fort complete. East in Vandenberg, California, where teams at SpaceX are counting down to a liftoff of 9.57 p.m. Pacific time. At around one minute to launch, we'll see Falcon 9 go into startup. This is where the rocket's onboard flight computers will take over the countdown and the tanks will pressurize to flight levels. And it appears SpaceX's stream has paused. Looks like a repeat of 7-11 here. Gonna try to get that back for you guys. We should have had a liftoff of Falcon 9 here. We're gonna see if they resume their coverage here. It always happens with the Vandenberg launches for some reason. <laughs> M1D chamber pressure is nominal. And there you see a successful liftoff of Falcon 9 from Slick 4 East in Vandenberg, California at 9.57 p.m. Pacific time. Our next milestone will be max Q in just under a minute from now. Nominal power and telemetry. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Max Q. And there you heard the call out for Max Q. This is the point where the vehicle will experience the most amount of aerodynamic stress during flight. And back chill has started. 
Next up, we'll have Miko, where we'll see those nine Merlin engines on the first stage cut off, which will be followed by stage separation and ignition of that Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Shortly after, we'll see those fairing halves separate, which will expose those 22 Starlink satellites to space. Those events coming up in just a few moments. Go. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And there you saw a successful Miko stage step in SES one. Next up, we'll see those fairing halves separate. Great views of those grid fins deploying. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you heard and saw those fairing halves separating. Very cool that some of you guys are seeing it from your backyards. Hopefully a clear night for a launch. If you look in the bottom left of your screen, you'll begin to see that telemetry of the first stage begin to slow down as it reaches its apogee. This is the highest point it'll reach before coasting down for the, on the drone ship for its ninth landing. Lots of people reporting they saw Falcon 9 launch, so <laughs> that's a good sign. If you're just joining us, you're looking at live views of Falcon 9 taking 22 Starlink satellites to orbit on board the Starlink 7-12 mission. On the left is a live view of the first stage coasting to the landing zone, and on the right you see the second stage burning the orbit with those 22 Starlink satellites on board. I don't believe there was a jellyfish, but it could be likely. I mean, it was a basically a 10 p.m. launch time, so. Vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. Unfortunately, we will have to end our broadcast at their landing in Seco 1. SpaceX does not provide live views of coasting and Starlink deploy. My house was shaking. <laughs> well, made quite the moment there, I guess. <laughs> and a little bit ago, you saw on the bottom left the telemetry start to indicate that the first stage reached its apogee. Next up, we will see that entry burn on the first stage. Coming up in just a few moments. Stage one, entry burn startup. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. 
And there you saw a successful entry burn on the first stage. Falcon 9 will now steer itself to the landing site using those four grid fins. Just after Falcon 9 lands, we will have Seco 1 or second engine cutoff 1. Stage 1, FTS has saved. This means we will have to end our Vehicles broadcast. Vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. As SpaceX does not provide live views of coasting and Starlink to play. Saw for a moment there on the left views of our first stage coasting down using those grid fins. You can see the telemetry of the first stage in the bottom left as it rapidly decelerates towards the landing pad. Stage one transonic. And in around 20 seconds from now, we should see Falcon 9 perform that landing burn. Stage two in terminal guidance. Stage one landing bird. As you see there, Falcon 9 BUN 075 now going to attempt its ninth landing on the Of Course I Still Love You drone ship. Stage two, FTS is saved. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one and landing confirmed. And touchdown of booster 1075, completing its ninth successful landing. Next up, we will have Seco 1. Looks like a pretty nice bullseye there on the deck. And back shut down. There you heard we had shut down of that second stage engine. So with that, we will be terminating the broadcast here as SpaceX does not provide views after Seco 1. Uh, you can join us on our Discord as we usually like to hang out around launches. So thanks for tuning in because space is better together. Good night.